um, Brit salad with chicken here at Arepa Sago in uh, Aguadilla. Buen provecho!
today we are here at Las Playuelas Las Playuelas Horse Rides. Horse Rides in Aguadilla, real really close to Peña Blanca and some of the other areas over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And this is Elena. Mm -hmm. What's your last name? My name is Elena Franco. Franco and uh -huh. she and her husband Alejandro both uh -huh. run this uh, beautiful establishment to get horse rides and mm -hmm. hiking tours. And this is Elisa and Adasa, mm -hmm. who are friends. And uh, Elisa is also a muralist who does mm -hmm. a lot of artwork in this area and mm -hmm. are planning some events in this area also. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go explore this area. Is there anything you'd like to say about? Yes, um, we have been approximately like almost three years um, offering horse back rides to, to our tourists and to the locals. Um, we were born in, after Hurricane Maria. We used to have three horses of our own and after Hurricane Maria, people that own horses, they had to depart the island or they, 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 have, they didn't have the provision to maintain the horses. So they will give us the horses or sell it oh, really cheap. That's really good. So you've and, kind of become a, a horse sanctuary yes. as well as... Uh -huh. And to maintain the horses, it's really expensive if you want to do it the proper way. So that's that's how Playera Horse Ride was born. All that we, the tours that we do and the money that we collect is to maintain the horses. Wow, that's uh -huh. great! Uh -huh. So come out and support uh, uh -huh. this this great operation. It's uh -huh. really cute, great for some photos and some hiking uh -huh. and exploring near the beach. Uh -huh. We we have 14 acres here, and in the area of the stables that we're gonna go right in a little minutes. Um, we do when well, we offer a camping so oh, people can come and camp with us nice. and we have some um, rooms available and a house that it fits up to 13 people cool uh -huh. oh, nice so maybe we can go check that out okay let's go see okay. Hola mi gente, Alejandro Ramos por aquí reparando un estrellero de lo que es la máquina de cortar palo. Ya que como es una finca muy grande, 14 cuerdas, pues las piezas se rompen y tenemos que repararla para poder continuar haciendo nuestra obra, que es tener esto limpio para que el público pueda ver esto bonito. Muy bien. Now in English, ¿verdad? I have a lot of work here. This is the, son los establos, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Ajá, aquí este es el frente de los establos. Ajá, uh, we could go through here so you could see the stables. Cool, inside. vamos a ver. Muy bien. is a traditional Puerto Rican food and there's a lot of different ways to do it. You can do it with a spoon like this, it's a little bit hard, or you can push on it when it's soft enough, it'll pop up and then you have to kind of flip it over and then you can kind of eat it <laughs> like a <laughs> like a popsicle or something. So these are two different flavors and Britain even has one, let me see. Coco, lots of different flavors you can do. Let's see if this one's soft enough to pop up. Mantecado. Ajá. And voila. Se embarra los dedos. Y después se daña, se lava las manos. Yeah, you gotta wash your hands, but it's so good. Salud. Salud. <laughs>
La Playuela, all of this drive, we arrive at Peña Blanca. So this is kind of the end point. Um, you can see this. And then to one side, there's a little playita, a little cosita. And to the other are the stairs that are probably the most famous part. Um, and then down into the cave. Thank you. 